A powerful moment in American history is being marked on the National Mall in two days. The president uh, will join two former presidents and thousands of Americans to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. Jennifer Donilon is live at the Lincoln Memorial to tell us about the work being done ahead of the president's address. Jennifer. Well, Maureen, it's hard to imagine what President Obama is thinking as he prepares for this speech on Wednesday. Obviously, he's made some notable speeches in recent years, but on Wednesday, he will fill the shoes of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In the shadow of the Lincoln Memorial, preparations were underway for Wednesday's 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. The bulk of the stage and its surroundings were already set. I'm gonna let it shine. After Saturday's celebration and march in the very same spot, tens of thousands joined together in the lead up to the actual anniversary just 48 hours from now. I'm glad to see it's a continuation of uh, the progress we've made. The March for Jobs and Justice will start the day Wednesday at 9 a.m. The 1.6 mile route begins at 600 New Jersey Avenue, passes by the U.S. Department of Labor, the Justice Department, the Washington Monument, and ends at the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his I Have a Dream speech. In a fitting tribute 50 years later, the country's first African-American president will speak in his place. Mr. Obama will be joined by Presidents Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter. Carter. I think it'll be interesting to see how the next 50 years go and hopefully we'll be in a place that we can't imagine at this point in terms of equality for on all the different levels. When the march ends, the Let Freedom Ring commemoration and call to action will take center stage. A host of feature speakers will take the podium, including Oprah Winfrey. At 3 p.m., the moment the world heard Dr. King's dream of racial unity and equality, bells will toll across the country as the nation pauses to remember and to look forward. A lifetime of, you know, history happening right here, so it's really exciting. Maybe another 50 years, then I can be the one to say that I was here. A live look at where all of this will take place. The steps of the Lincoln Memorial. I don't know if you can see these folks, but they are up there singing Let It Shine, and they are clapping as this week of celebration goes on. In addition to Oprah Winfrey, Congressman John Lewis will also be speaking. He is the only original speaker from the 1963 March on Washington. Reporting live from the Lincoln Memorial, I'm Jennifer Donnellan, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Jennifer. ABC 7 News, of course, will have complete coverage of the March on Washington events this week during our newscasts and online. And for a list of the week's events, go to our website, wjla.com.